five. All new at 530, no one likes them. Pesky mosquitoes, they are buzzing all around the valley. They'll drive you crazy, but here's some good news. You can get rid of them. Tonight, Jason Berry shows us how a popular food item is being used to keep mosquitoes away. Mosquito repellent, candles, a bug zapper. Some people will do almost anything to get rid of mosquitoes. But have you ever thought of spraying your yard with garlic? They're the pests that can make your life miserable. You're slapping at them and you're scratching all the time. Just ask Phoenix homeowner Rich Snackenberg, whose backyard is a popular mosquito hangout. They're a lot worse than they used to be. It seems like 20, 25 years ago that they weren't an issue. Mosquitoes have become a major problem across the valley, with so many people leaving standing water in and around their homes and apartments. For many, the thought of spraying dangerous chemicals is not an option. But what about this? This guy dressed up like a ghostbuster works for Burns Pest Control. They've come up with a unique, environmentally friendly way to fight mosquitoes using garlic oil. It comes out as a, a super fine mist, and then it attaches to the trees, attaches to these other devices that we're gonna put it on, to the house and things, and it creates a small barrier that they, that, that insect just does not like to be around. We're told the pesticide-free garlic mixture is highly effective, keeping mosquitoes away, and is completely safe for pets and people. The treatment won't kill the mosquitoes. It's simply designed to force the pesky insects to buzz off. Hey, I can handle the smell if you get rid of the pesky bugs because they basically drive you inside. And keeps the vampires away, too. <laughs> yes, that's for sure. The garlic-based mosquito treatment costs about $65 per spraying and is supposed to last about three weeks. The garlic smell only lasts about 30 minutes, so the outside of your house won't smell like the Olive Garden all day. In Phoenix, Jason Berry, CBS 5 News.